Hey guys, Desaw back in the Nerd Cave. Well, technically not yet back in the Nerd Cave. We're still doing some renovation, so hopefully in the next couple of days I will be back in there. But as you can see in front of you, got my Halfway to Black Friday Vinegar Syndrome sale pickups. Super excited. Didn't get anything from the Flash order pre-sale, so it took a little while to get here. As you know, if you order stuff from the Flash pre-order sale, um, your shipping comes in right after the um, subscribers. So I'm not a subscriber and I didn't do the flash order. So, but it still came in in decent time. Um, and I got an email on, on on one day and then the next day it was here. So pretty good shipping. And so let's listen, let's, let's crack this bad boy open and see what I got. All right, guys, so I went a little crazy this year. Not as bad as the halfway to Black Friday sale last year. Uh, but definitely picked up more than the Black Friday sale. So um, check out the video. See see the uh, maybe I'll leave it at a link in the description below if I remember from my previous sale pickups. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into it. First up is something I wanted to buy during the last sale, which I didn't, and I think it sold out pretty quickly. Um, so I jumped on it this time, and it's the Vinegar Syndrome Viewmaster. Uh, pretty much picked this up for just nostalgia reasons, really. Um, when I was a kid. You know, it was in the 80s. This is this was a huge thing. So I had this thing. I had the, the talking Viewmaster, which was pretty cool. So I definitely had to pick that up. And it came with the disc for Sex World. So that's pretty cool. I'll check that out. As things fall all over the place. Okay, so let's jump into the movies. First up is a box set. I believe it um, sold out during the sale, and it's the Forgotten Gialli Volume 2. Again, with Vinegar Syndrome, they have really nice uh, artwork and a hard, sturdy box. Now, hopefully, like I said, I think this is sold out, so hopefully, like they did with the first Forgotten Gialli, if you missed out on this, I know they released um, just like a, just the discs version, you know, in just a, in like one M array, so. Let's crack this open. Again, pretty good artwork. And I'm not going to go too much into detail on this. I don't want this to turn into an hour long video, and I'm sure you guys don't either. Um, so I'll just quickly show the movies. I'm not going to actually crack them open. First one up is My Dear Killer. Let's see if you can see anything here. A little bit about the movie, special features. Here we go. Next one is the French Sex Murders. Sorry for the glare. And last one up is Girl in Room 2A. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. There's not too much of an echo. I'm in my living room and there's not much in here. Like I said, we're doing renovation, so it is a little echoey. I have headphones on to kind of minimize that if we can. Okay, so next one up, we'll jump into some of the, we'll jump to the VSA titles. Picked up a bunch of VSA titles. Um, I want to try to do a complete collection for VSA. I'm never going to get a complete f collection for Vinegar Syndrome. I, just, I know that. I'm fine with that. Um, but I did take this as an opportunity to pick up some VSAs that I don't have. Uh, first one up, Spellcaster. Unfortunately, I think this is out of stock now as well. This is around for a while. I always want to try to wait for these sales to pick these up. And this is number 2401. There's a little bit about the movie. I've seen a bunch of reviews on this, so I was excited to get it. I was very tempted to just pick it up before the sale, but I waited and I was able to pick it up. Next one up is, a, I think, a newer one from the last sale, <clears throat> and it's Edgar Allan Poe's The House of Usher. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've heard some mixed things about this one. Number 3526 of 4,000. A little bit about the movie and some of the special features. 
Not too many special features on this one. Next one up is, uh, we'll go jump on this one. Um, Dr. Jekyll's Dungeon of Death. Now, I did something I said I wasn't going to do in prior videos. And I, I always say I don't pick up to just pick up, you know. Um, I'm not really a completionist, um, but I decided, you know, I, I do have most of the VSAs. This and Evil Town were the only ones I didn't have. Evil Town has long since been out of print, so that's going to be tough picking up. Just saw it recently on eBay for $150. I don't want to pay that price, um, but maybe one day I will find it for a good price. So Dr. Dr. Jekyll's Dungeon of Death was dwindling in numbers. It was in the low 200s, if not high 100s. And I said in previous videos, I was not going to pick this up. I heard this was a terrible video uh, movie, but I did it anyway. I did what I said I wasn't going to do. Because I feel like I would have regretted it later. It's the numbers, man. Like I've, I've said this a hundred times, number 2908 or 3000. Vinegar Syndrome does it right. They, they, put, they put the numbers down. They know how, so you know how much is left. And that, the pressure, man, I did it. I picked it up. And the last VSA is Necromancer. And again, I think this is also unfortunately out of print now. As with many of these movies, a lot of these are blind buys. Like I said, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll watch the trailers on these. 3651 to 4000. I believe this is the one, yeah, this is the one I think that had the issue with not having, as you know with these VSAs, it comes with a poster. I believe it's usually inside the Amory. And I think these are the ones that maybe shipped out without them, so I think they're just kind of shoved in now, which is fine. Here's a description, some of the special features. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Again, I uh, whoop, I uh, wanted to wait until the sale to pick these up. I always try to take advantage of the of the sale. Those VSAs are always tricky to put back in the box. Okay, so a couple more, a lot more. <laughs> Next one up is uh, one I've been wanting to get for a while. I feel like that's a common theme here. Um, and it's Luther the Greek. This is one where I think the, the slipcover edition was dwindling in numbers, uh, so I went to pick it up. Really cool in the light, how it shines. I've, I've been 50-50 with this movie. I've wanted to get it, but I've seen the trailer. Not that it looks bad, it just looks kind of gross. <laughs> I believe this is an early release, and it's a trauma release as well. <clears throat> but this slipcover is sick, so I had to jump on it. And, you know, that's going to be a running theme as well, you know, with Vinegar Syndrome and their slipcovers. And listen, for those of you that don't need to get the slipcover, I, I wish I were you. I, it, it used to be you back in the day. I used to not care about slipcovers. In fact, I used to toss them. Um, of course, those were you know, studio type releases. But once I got into these boutique labels, I got hooked. So next one up is uh, a another movie I've been wanting to get. Uh, and it's The Caller with Malcolm McDowell and Madeline Smith. Really nice slip. I don't know why some of these movies have different, if you saw Necromancer and the back looks different, so I don't know why they do that on some movies, but not others. Special features, sorry for the glare, guys. The overhead lighting will do that. We're, I guess, almost halfway there, I would think. Yeah. 
Another one is Old Dracula. Really nice slip cover. It's uh, matte and glossy. You can see that. Okay. Maybe this is just the newer backs to them. I guess you. Let me see if I can compare it to another one. Of course, I can't find one that I'm talking about. Right here, so I'll jump ahead for this one. Here's rest in pieces. See the difference? I wonder why they do that. I'm not sure. Again, I don't know if it's maybe the studio or what. Anyway, a little stupid thing you notice. Anyway, here's a little bit about the movie. This looks like a fun one I've been wanting to get for a while. Been watching the numbers, and you know what I always do? I always end up doing this. The, sale, the, the website's back up and running. So I, I always end up going back in, checking the numbers, and if things are kind of dwindling, I will pick them up outside the sale. Haven't done it yet, haven't checked it out. You saw this one already? It's Rest in Pieces. I remember this cover from, as a kid, so I don't know if this was the original VHS uh, cover or the poster art. It's a little bit about the movie and the special features. Okay. Almost there, I promise. Next one up is a later pickup. As you know, with the sale, you, you can buy some stuff and then go in later during the weekend and add it to your previous order, which again is another genius move because you don't have to worry about shipping. Um, so you spend the entire weekend just looking at the numbers. And this is another one that was kind of going low in numbers uh, for the slip edition and it's Lust in the Dust. Heard good things about this one. Um, the trailer looked pretty good. So I went ahead and picked it up. Here is oh, pretty much the same. A little bit about the movie. This isn't my typical go-to. You know, I usually get the the horror titles, typically. Um, so this is, I guess, a Western. So we'll see how that is. The numbers, again, pressured me. Who Done It is the next one I picked up. Uh, this, I think, was later in the sale as well. This may have been, like, on a Sunday at the end of the day. Really cool slip. Like how the mask is uh, glossy and the rest is matte. No description. Special features. <clears throat> okay, okay. Next one up. Silent Madness in 3D. Um, I believe the slip might be <clears throat> out of stock now on this one. So I had to grab this. You always take a gamble waiting on the sales, um, but I try to do that. I'll never pick up anything new. I know a lot of people jump on the new stuff. There's a bunch of new VSA titles that came out during the halfway sale. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to check them out um, during the next sale, or like I said, keep an eye on them during the year. Um, and before November hits, if it's going out, you know, a stock soon, I'll go pick it up. Again, it come, this one comes with the region free Blu-ray, newly scanned in 4K. And I know it comes with, yeah, it includes two pairs of custom Silent Menace glasses. <laughs> Anaglyph glasses. Is that what you say, how you say it? I've heard some good things, so I definitely had to pick that up. Like, I was tempted to get uh, Champagne and Bullets. I was tempted to get 16, 16 String Samurai um, 
I can wait on that. Beastmaster took a long time to go out of stock, so I think we're okay with that. Really tempted to get um, Scanner Cop collection. Um, I'll keep an eye on that, but I think that'll that's safe for a while too. All right, so three, mil three more titles, guys. First one up is the only non-slip I got. Um, the numbers on this was dwindling, and you never know with Vinegar Syndrome, when the numbers go down to zero, sometimes they just restock them up to 1,000 again. So didn't want to take the chance with this. And it's The Vineyard with James Hong, who I've met at uh, a Monster Mania a couple years ago. I think he just got... Did he just get a star in the walk, uh, walk of Fame, I think, recently? So good for him. A little bit about the movie. Um, I've wanted to get this for a long time, and I, I missed out when it had the slip. But I've heard good things about this movie, so I wanted to pick it up. <clears throat> And now we're getting into the um, new slips. Uh, these are move these are older releases that just had the new slips um, come out. This, I believe, was from the last sale, and it's Malibu High. Now, I didn't own the movie, so I, I picked up the slip with the movie. Cover. I hear that this cover doesn't really accurately depict what the movie is like. This does a better job. And next one up is the ones from this sale. First one up, Nightmare Weekend with the new slip. Pretty nice. I believe this movie was out of stock for a while and it came back in stock when... The new slip came out, so I picked it up with the movie. I do like that cover. Yeah, sorry for the glare. And last but not least are some of the other slips I already have the movies for. First one up, Sugar Cookies. I believe this is an old um, Lloyd Kaufman release, yep. So be careful guys when you get these slips. Um, I've seen them where they're kind of hard to open up a little bit. So you don't want to tear them. It has happened unfortunately. Luckily not to me yet, knock on wood. Another one up is Count Dracula's Great Love. Okay movie, you know I have the movie um, it's not terrible. It's kind of like a hammer type movie. And last one up is the double feature of Deadly Embrace and Murder Weapon with Linnea Quigley. I've seen half of it. I, I did like a kind of a pseudo review a while back, and this was terrible. <laughs> this was just awful. I'm going to rewatch it, make sure it's not a so bad it's good kind of bad or just terrible bad. We'll, we'll find out. I haven't watched Deadly Embrace yet, but listen, I have the movie. I own it. Uh, this is a really awesome slip cover. And I believe these slips are only about, what are they selling for, like $7.50 a pop. I know we were hoping for uh, Madman, I think, to come with a slip or some other titles, but... I think they picked some good ones this year. So anyway, guys, here is um, here they are. Here are all my uh, pickups from the Halfway to Black Friday sale. We're approaching 20 minutes, so not too bad. Uh, don't forget to let me know in the comments what did you pick up in the video. Um, well, not in the video, <laughs> during the sale. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, I'll leave some links in the description to my older videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, I know guys, you know, I know you guys are watching, so make sure to, to smash that subscribe button, like they say. Anyway, um, until next time, hopefully see you guys back in the Nerd Cave.